Amrita Vishwa Vidya Peetam is one of India's premier top-ranked universities which focuses on transforming lives through learning, research and innovation. The university was established 19 years ago in the year 2003 and has made significant achievements in a short time. Education for life, education for living. Amrita University is guided by the thoughtfulness of our Chancellor, Amma, who laid down the philosophy of education for life by placing equal stress on education for a living. It is this vision that led to the establishment of a vast network of educational institutions that provide modern education while imparting the traditional values. While the pursuit of academic excellence forms the core of Amrita's success, it also undertakes the responsibility to shape the whole character of youngsters with love, care and compassion. The university is headquartered at the foothills of the Western Ghats in Coimbatore, Tamil Nadu and has five other campuses spread across South India in Amritapuri, Kerala, Kochi, Kerala, Bengaluru, Karnataka, Chennai, Tamil Nadu and Mysore, Karnataka. The university will soon launch its new campuses in Amravati, Andhra Pradesh, Faridabad, Delhi, NCR. Our inspiration, a renowned humanitarian leader and spiritual leader, Amba is the chancellor and guiding light of Amrita Vishwa Vidya Pitam. Amma's concept of education, stress on research and commitment to instilling universal values have come together to shape Amrita into an institution where the latest achievements and discoveries combined with compassion and service-mindedness. As Amma said in 2010, when the State University of New York presented her with an honorary doctorate in Humane Letters. Rankings The multi-campus, multidisciplinary research establishment is ranked as fifth best university in India 2021 by National Institutional Ranking Framework, NIRF. We have also been accorded the status of Institute of Eminence, IOE, by the Ministry of Education, Government of India. A testament to our pursuit of excellence is the NAC A++ accreditation score, the highest possible. NAC accreditation measures universities for excellence in curricular aspects, teaching, learning and evaluation, research, innovations and extension, infrastructure and learning resources, student support and progression, governance, leadership and management, institutional values and best practices, global impact and international collaborations. Among the private educational institutions in the country, Amrita has entered into MOUs and collaborations with more than 450 leading universities around the globe. Students also benefit from our relations with industries and interactions with top management of multinational companies. These collaborations facilitate student exchange programs, student visits, industrial training and project guidance under reputed corporate entities. Placements Placements at Amrita have always been best in class with students usually having more than one job offer. Some students have up to three job offers by the end of their course from reputed MNCs, be it engineering, management, life sciences, arts or sciences. Amrita is a place where the world's best companies look for talent. More than 200 companies visit the campus every year and the average salary offered to our students is 5.8 lakh per annum. Meanwhile, the highest package offered is 56.95 lakh per annum and the highest stipend for internship is rupees 80,000 per month. Amritas Technology Business Incubator, TBI, 
is a non-profit supported by the government of India that funds, mentors and nurtures ideas by startups and entrepreneurs. It focuses on developing innovations in the areas of information technology, cyber security, networking, social media and more. The TPI startups have obtained multiple awards and recognition both from India and across the globe. Till date, TBI has incubated more than 75 startups and mentored 216 startup ideas with 0% loss from investments. It funds up to 1 crore rupees per startup and has opened up many more funding options through its partnership with venture capital firms and angel investor networks. Amrita TBI is one of the only six incubators selected to be world-class under Nidhi Ayok's Atal Innovation Mission. Campus Life A home away from home. At Amrita, we believe in a holistic approach towards our students' development. To augment students' classroom learning, all campuses provide students with digital and central libraries quiet study centers, seminar halls, e-learning studios, computer labs, and campus-wide free Wi-Fi. The university encourages both indoor and outdoor sports and games, and there are world-class swimming pools, gymnasiums, stadiums, and games arenas. Various clubs cater to the artistic and scientific minds of the students. If you look around all of Amrita's campuses, you will see the prevailing educational environment is in communion with nature. The sand, the seas and the sky define the backdrop of these temples of learning. It vibrates with an energy of togetherness and encourages us to live in harmony with everything around us, including a unity within ourselves. This setting is suited to instill both learners and the learned with the courage and wisdom to face the challenges of life. The campus at Etimani is considered India's most picturesque. It is like an oasis in a desert. What started out as a barren landscape underwent a miraculous transformation through the university's tree planting project. Today, there are more than one lakh trees growing there, the most extensive collection in number and species on a university campus in South India. The Live in Labs program originated from Amma's idea to bridge the rural and urban divide by sending university students to remote villages in India to understand the everyday difficulties faced by people living there. The program is designed to be a multidisciplinary real-life learning experience offered to both international participants and Amrita University's faculty and students. The lab's objective is to expose youths to day-to-day -day problems faced in rural communities with a two-week to six-month periods of live-in internships in Indian villages. It also aims to inspire them to dedicate the knowledge and skills they acquired at university to help develop practical, cost-effective solutions to the challenges faced by the villages. Researchers at Amrita Vishwa Vidya Pitam partner with senior scientists at world's leading research universities to innovate new ideas and invent new products applying existing technology towards solving some of the world's most pressing problems from disaster management to assuring access to education and the management and cure of diseases. This effort reflects in Amrita's national and international research rankings. 
India's first UNESCO Chair on Women's Empowerment and Gender Equality. Empowerment through Innovation and Technology. The Center for Women Empowerment and Gender Equality is a research-focused academic center for promoting gender equality and fostering women's empowerment with a special focus on using technology and other innovative methods. This center will offer diverse courses in key focus areas, pilot radical ideas and collaborate with leading universities and institutions. The Amala Bharatam Campaign ABC Clean India Campaign was a program pioneered by Amrita aimed at improving public health and restoring India's physical beauty. The project was launched in 2010 during Amma's 57th birthday celebrations and through this campaign, volunteers undertake periodic cleaning of roads, markets, temples, government offices and hospitals. As a part of this campaign, garbage was sorted and either recycled or properly disposed of. Amrita Vishwa Vidya Pitam, along with Kerala's prisons and correctional services and Tamil Nadu Prison Department initiated Amrita Yoga classes and IAM Technic meditation sessions in 2018 to address and transform the physical, mental and emotional health of prison inmates. Our goal is to teach yoga and meditation techniques to help the prison inmates become more self-aware. They learn to breathe with awareness and manage emotions through these exercises. Ours is a changing world. It needs people who can adapt to change with minds that can expand and include change and yet hold human friendly values that can withstand all changes which is why the world needs education that shapes the minds of these people and which is why the world needs Amrita Vishwa Vidya Pitam. Education for life, education for living A university where future is driven by imagination. Experiential learning creates diverse opportunities. Where industry exposure and international partnerships help you sail. Come, start your journey towards success with Amrita University. There's a place where the best minds come together, work together, work to end inequalities, work towards transforming lives. This is a place recognized as one of the world's best universities. This is Amrita, now ranked among the top 100 universities in the world and ranked number one in India. Amrita University. There's a reason why we pick up the highest grades nationally and internationally, year after year after year. That reason is you. Now, with an A++ accreditation from NAC and consistent rankings among the top universities in NIRF, Amrita, we get recognized because you must. Good evening, one and all present here. Myself, Megha. And today I welcome you all in the next series of Amrita MBA Know Your Campus. In today's series, you will explore Amrita Puri campus. Get a sneak peek into what to expect from the campus, placement, internships, and student life at our Amritapuri campus. Well, for this session, Mr. Suresh A., Assistant Professor, Department of Management, Amritapuri, will give detailed information regarding the Amritapuri campus and recent trends. So it is a great opportunity for all the MBA aspirants, as well as students, to get an insight and overview of the latest trends in MBA. Mr. Suresh A. did BTEC in Agriculture Engineering from Kerala Agricultural University and PGDM from Amrita Institute of Management, Coimbatore. He is a research scholar at Amrita School of Business, Coimbatore. 
His research interests is in the area of natural resource management and sustainability, specifically water use efficiency, conservative and reuse under the light of climate change. So we welcome you, sir. It's over to you now. Sir, you are on mute. Sir, you are on mute. Sorry, I was on mute. Uh, sorry. Is my screen visible now? Yes, yes. go ahead, sir. Yeah, I, I can start, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can. So, uh, good evening, Namashivaya. Welcome to the presentation uh, under the series of Know Your Campus. And I'm Suresh from Amrita School of Business, Amrita Buri. Welcome to this uh, presentation, a short presentation from School of Business. As uh, you've gone through the, the corporate uh, video a few minutes back, where you have seen uh, what, is the, what are the developments which has happened in this uh, university in the last, uh, say, uh, 18 years um, uh, of operations. So I was fortunate to be part of the batch which came in or uh, when the when the university was formed in 2003, I was a student at uh, Amrita Institute of Management doing my uh, MBA. So uh, I have seen this form, formation of this university at the, in the, in the very beginning and I'm fortunate to be part of this university since 2012 teaching at uh, Amrita School of Business uh, Amrita Puri. I teach in the area of marketing and business analytics. So I just want to take you through a snapshot of uh, the School of Business. So as uh, said in our introduction in, in uh, video, our inspiration is our chancellor, uh, Mata Amrita Devi, fondly called as Amma and known all over the world. And her, under her able guidance and leadership, we have been uh, achieving uh, accolades after accolades and now judge the fifth best university in the country. And uh, some of our ranking, uh, which, in, which include, like we have seen in the earlier video on uh, university grants commissions, institution of eminence or NAC accreditation. And to highlight some of those which has happened in the recent, uh, from the management stream is the, the 20, we are ranked 27th in the management stream according to the latest NIR of ranking. Uh, and if you look at the campus where, which I represent, Amrithapuri campus, Amrithapuri campus is one of the largest campuses of uh, Amrita Vishwavidya Peetam with uh, four different schools of, uh, or five different schools, you can say uh, Amrita School of Biotechnology, Amrita School of Ayurveda, Amrita School of Business, Amrita School of Arts and Sciences, and Amrita School of Engineering are part of this uh, picturesque campus, which is located close to the international headquarters of Amrita, uh, Mother Amrita and the Mai Mat. So if you look at what has happened in the last so many, uh, in the last couple of years where we are going through a changed world. We have a new normal. The world is new. The challenges are new. The business problems have uh, taken new shapes. So this requires new solutions. We require new uh, outlook for taking on the challenges uh, which are coming up post the pandemic era. So this needs an internal as well as an external rewiring. And that's what Amrita School of Business, Amrita Puri, uh, under the able guidance of the Chancellor Amma, uh, with, which we go perfectly with the tagline of education for living and education for life. 
taking care of both the internal and the external transformation of students here. So our mission is to offer contemporary quality postgraduate education, management education for life and living, emphasizing on research, societal benefit, and as some of those uh, highlights of this uh, campus include, we have, been, we have established, uh, we have established in 2009, uh, this is a two-year MBA program, which focuses on uh, the overall development of uh, a graduate student to take on challenges in the professional environment. So students are taught by feminine set of faculty members who are experienced both in the industry and academia and are from different parts of the world. As uh, we emphasize on our curriculum, our curriculum is a value-based curriculum with the dynamic uh, which uh, is reviewed up over every uh, year and uh, there are changes which comes up in the curriculum based on what is changing in the environment, business environment. So our focus is on a business uh, ready student who can take on challenges, the current day challenges in the business environment. Our corporate uh, industry relations ensures that we have, we, we have uh, we maintain our relationship with our, the corporates uh, where our students work uh, and we get, have their continuous patronage in terms of placement and other opportunities. So our research is focused on, on the contemporary issues in business and economic environment. So we have started our PhD program in 2019 and to talk about uh, the program, uh, the program spans across six trimesters uh, in two years. The first three trimesters looks at the basic courses on uh, which a management graduate is supposed to learn from all the streams of uh, business, including general management, marketing, uh, HR, operations, finance, and business analytics. And after these three trimesters, the students uh, take up a summer internship with a company uh, of the choice and they go to an eight week summer internship program where they learn uh, the different nuances in the corporate, understand the nitty gritties of how businesses are managed in the in each of these domains. And this is, uh, this after this uh, two, eight weeks of summer internship, the students come back and have the, the next three trimesters where they specialize on two, uh, two areas. So we have a, we offer a dual specialization where the students go through the program of uh, uh, taking up two uh, two of those specializations. And during this program, the program starts with a two week introduction or introductory orientation where the students, since they are from different streams of. Uh, uh, graduation to bring them to a common platform of understanding uh, the introductory orientation focuses on uh, building the understanding of students in the different domains which are important for uh, a management so in during the process uh, the two year uh, process the students also get exposure to different kinds of workshops where they get equipped to uh, understand the latest technology, latest trends in the industry, understanding different uh, domains and the, the recent trends in these domains through workshops, seminars, and also colloquium. In the, in the colloquium, colloquia, we, we emphasize on the interaction with uh, people from the industry. They come together, meet the students, discuss what are the what are the recent trends in the industry provide them information on how do they equip themselves to take on challenges in the corporate environment so if you look at the courses which are offered there are around 25 core courses uh, offered in the first year along with around 70 plus electives of on for these five different uh, specializations which are offered now, if you look at the kind of faculty who are part of this school, we have faculty from uh, different uh, world-class uh, universities, which include London School of Economics, New York University, I.M. Ahmedabad. And if you look at uh, faculty who are experienced from the industry, have also had their uh, good years of experience with 
the best of the brands uh, in the in the corporate world we also provide value based uh, additional courses which are part of this curriculum which include uh, understanding on the latest technologies like r and python we also have uh, courses which focuses on the business intelligence tools like power bi tableau and uh, also the the students get an exposure to uh, working with uh, softwares like spss and we also have a whole bouquet of courses which looks at human values gender and sustainability areas so this is another uh, highlight of our program where we have a specific course on self awareness and personal growth where the students are uh, taken through the understanding of uh, the various renowned scholars across different fields different domains uh, they get to understand the spiritual aspects of life and this is one highlight of our uh, courses along with this we have also introduced a university wide course called Ma mastery of our mind which uh, which is a two credit course which every student undergoes where they they understand the importance of yoga meditation and apart from these uh, courses on uh, self awareness and personal growth as well as mastery of our mind we also have clear focus on the aspects of business ethics and managerial values so a student at the mba program at amrita school of business uh, goes through the course on uh, managerial values and business ethics so these are all uh, providing them insights on how to be grounded on uh, those uh, value systems understand the importance of ethics and then are there in the corporate life understand the importance of what is uh, social for the corporate social responsibilities uh, understanding the the importance of ethics in business so this course gives them uh, all around understanding of managerial values in business ethics apart from this we also have courses on uh, environment management and sustainable development where uh, the students have the understanding of the sustainable development goals put forth by united nations and uh, we focus on the ecology equity and uh, equity and economy perspectives which makes the students understand uh, about various aspects of environment and the current day issues of climate change so this actually has built a good uh, number of professionals who take on such challenges in the industry as well as our students also work with certain uh, programs where the these kind of courses are taken up and they work diligently in uh, in helping working with the, uh, the communities and working in areas which is probably not something which is ventured by uh, the normal uh, mba uh, students and our students become part of such initiatives with various organizations across the world you look at uh, the other kinds of courses which comes as part of this learning process is a game based learning we have our students going through our game based uh, process as part of the strategic management course which is called uh, a game uh, which is developed by one of our uh, alumni from amrita uh, which is called strata is one uh, game based uh, activity which students go through as part of the strategic management course we also have uh, our students taking uh, working through their uh, uh, corporate reactor workshop uh, which is again part of the development of uh, students so it gives a very beautiful platform for students to exhibit their talent come together work together and this enables the students to uh, who are from diverse backgrounds diverse disciplines to come together as a group work together for a particular uh, cause and that builds the uh, the understanding and team management skills of those students gets nurtured in this process we also have uh, uh, rural immersion programs uh, as part of uh, the amrita school of business uh, coursework uh, students go to the nearby uh, villages understand how the so the self help groups are working what are the kinds of uh, value uh, 
systems they they provide to the communities what are the kinds of businesses they venture into so students work closely with uh, the self help groups around the campus and understand their business uh, business processes help them to create uh, avenues for developing their business to uh, uh, scaling up their business to next levels our students have uh, supported uh, self help groups in putting up their uh, businesses together on uh, digital platforms creating websites creating digital media marketing uh, campaigns for the the rural entrepreneurs so these are all uh, activities which our students take up uh, with the rural uh, sgs around the campus also we have a industry visit activity which happens Uh, every year where students go to a particular industry understand the industry process understand the business understand the market and then uh, get insights from people uh, from the industry in the process uh, increasing their understanding on the, the manufacturing or service related processes we also have a very good infrastructure of uh, the it we have a, a completely wifi enabled uh, campus students can access wifi from their hostels as well as their uh, college campuses we have a very good digital library where students have the access to various databases and uh, uh, journals online journals etc and all our classrooms are uh, enabled it enabled with uh, the latest technology on the uh, available in the classrooms uh, the university process is act managed managed using amrita university management system the library the accounts the admissions examinations attendance all are managed on the amrita the in house amrita university management system our library as i said earlier is equipped with the latest of the the uh, databases which include proquest epsco we have uh, the latest journals we have the databases like stata and the capital line proves etc uh, where students use this databases to research on the the companies and uh, bring out insights as part of their assignments and term papers apart from this uh, the campus provides facilities for all round development of the students we have uh, a well equipped gymnasium for students to and both men and women have got different timings to uh, use the facility our students are also uh, provided the training on uh, yoga and meditation through the program of i am which is called integrated amrita meditation so all students go through this program which is beneficial for them during the process of their uh, during the course work as well as when they go out to the corporate they will they find it uh, uh, useful in their busy corporate uh, life our students participate in various business fest uh, around uh, the country students uh, travel to places to participate in the 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 best of the b b fest which is organized by other b schools as well and uh, have won accolades uh, during the this fest we also have a very good uh, activity of cultural events as part of the campus we have we celebrate all the indian festivals we have onam celebrated in great vigor in this campus as we are part of the campus which is very adjacent to the mart you know mata pratamanta mai mart we also have the opportunity to participate in the celebrations which are in the ashram as well uh, these are some of those uh, activities which students uh, engage as part of the campus festivals also we have a project based learning approach which is uh, taken up in different courses like uh, our students get to develop products for uh, as part of their marketing management course they develop a product present the product and uh, and some of our students have gone to uh, the pitch fest which is organized by the incubators tech business incubators where their business plans are won uh, accolades so that's part of the curriculum which helps the students to uh, take up such uh, act, uh, take on such aspects with uh, these these schools fest 
if you look at the placement and career development uh, we have a dedicated corporate industry relations which handles the placement process for uh, amrita and from from a standpoint of school of business amrita puri our uh, placements have been uh, really good in the last couple of uh, years been uh, touching almost 100% placements in the last couple of years so there is a uh, career counseling which happens as as and when the student lands up for the first year the they are assessed for their capabilities assessed for their competencies and there are corporate training programs scheduled for uh, each of those students and there is a set of networking uh, activities which happens with students getting in touch with the alumni understanding what are the current aspects in the industry which helps them to keep themselves on the requirements of industry as and when the placements come across so there is a facilitation done by the corporate industry group along with the support of the amrit the alumni we we ensure that students get the best of the placements and these are some of those brands which are top recruiters uh, of amrita year on year last year we have uh, had a highest cpc of around 17.15 lakhs and an average salary of around 6.58 this has been the progression of the the average ctc of students uh, who are placed in the last 5 years so we had a dip during the in the covid time but then we had a very good placement season during that time as well. we got 100% students got 100% students got placed in 2019 21 last year we could definitely improve the average salaries and this year is looking good with almost 30 uh, 45% students placed as of now uh, and we have or are trying to go so this comes to the the aspect of uh, the opportunity available so this gives you a glimpse of what are the opportunities available at amrita school of business amrita puri our admissions are open from and it's available you can use the amrita admission portal to uh, log on and apply for amrita puri campus the process of admission is uh, fairly simple we check for the eligibility of the students and then the eligible students goes through a uh, admission test uh, the admission right uh, after the admission test there is an interview for the qualifying students and uh, based on the interview and the english proficiency test the selection of the students is done the if you look at the eligibility uh, student any student with a bachelor's degree and a minimum of 50% mark is eligible for applying we look at the scores of uh, cat math c math g math gre zat and a math which is going to come up this year as a selection process in kerala uh, in kollam we also look at uh, k math as a score and candidates with uh, freshers as well as uh, candidates with experience will also have an advantage in terms of uh, admissions so if uh, you're interested you can reach us at mba at am.amrita.edu or whatsapp us at at, at at this number 9072020196 you can follow us on our uh, uh, our social media handles and our hashtag #amritapuriambe thank you so any questions i can i can take up um well thank you sir for your valuable input and exploring the amritapuri campus i hope the students have uh, learned enormous information regarding amritapuri campus now i would like to share one small uh, ppt on admission process just well uh, suresh sir had talked about amritapuri campus as a whole and uh, he has given all the information regarding amritapuri campus uh, well i'll just brief you about the uh, amrita school of business 
in all our campuses, starting from Amravati, Amrita Puri, Bengaluru, Coimbatore, and Kochi campus. Well, uh, Amrita School of Business, established in 1996, is one of the top 27 B schools in the country. Coimbatore campus is AACSP accredited and is among world top 5% uh, business school to be accredited by AACSB. It is the global standards for B school. The university is also ranked as fifth best university in the NIRF ranking 2022 and has the top accreditation of A++ by NAC. Amrita provides world-class facility with an exceptional skill added curriculum that will help the students to update on the latest marketing and business trends. ASB is the best place to develop and grow into ethically global leader at ASB world-class faculty with rich industry experience and exceptional academic backgrounds inculcate leadership qualities in students. Well, uh, it is a good news for all the students that this year we are introducing Amrita uh, MBA entrance test that is AMET. Well, uh, regarding introduction of AMET, we will have another presentation, another webinar for this. Uh, I'll just give you a brief guidelines of AMET. AMET is an online entrance test to be conducted by Amrita University for seeking admission to MBA programs offered at all our campuses, uh, Amr Amrita Puri, Amravati, Bengaluru, Coimbatore, and Kochi campus. AMET will be conducted across India via computer-based test mode in more than 40 cities across India. Duration of the exam will be 150 minutes, total questions will be 100, and you even have an opportunity to avail scholarship up to 100% through this test. What is the eligibility? Eligibility already uh, Sir has explained in his presentation. It is same for all the campuses. Uh, but we also have KMET test score for Amrita Puri and uh, Kochi campus. So even if student has appeared for KMET, can apply for admission in uh, Amrita School of Business in Amrita Puri campus as well as Kochi campus. Well, for application, uh, how to take admission in MBA, student is supposed to fill online application form. This is the application process step by step. First, register by filling the details online. Second step is submit academic information and make payment. And third step is upload documents before the interview. Uh, I'll just brief you about the selection process. Uh, selection process will be based on best score secured in Amrita MBA entrance test, that is AMET 2023, or valid test score of CAT, MAT, CMAT, GMAT, ZAT, KMAT. Candidates are shortlisted for personal interview based on their academic and test score and will be informed about the PI date by email and SMS. During the PI, candidates will be evaluated on their written and verbal communication skills, subject and general knowledge, and overall personality. Well, with this, uh, I would like you all, if you have any queries, any questions regarding Amrita Puri campus or regarding admission process, you can just contact on this number that is 0444813323. And you can mail us at mba at the rate amrita edu. I'll repeat mba at the rate amrita.edu. Um, well, uh, now we will conclude the session by thanking our speaker, Mr. Suresh, sir. Sir, thank you for your valuable time and providing enormous information to the MBA aspirants about Amrita Puri campus. And for all the students, I hope you know Amrita Puri campus now and uh, meet you in the next series of Know Your Campus. In next series, we will introduce Amravati campus. This event will be held on 11th of November. Well, uh, goodbye and take care. Thank you so much. Thank you.